Hello, today we'll be taking a look at Sampleverse, StageLight's new sample-based synth and sampler. When you launch Sampleverse, you'll be greeted with the touch-friendly note grid view. The note grid view offers a modern approach to playing notes and many features to customize the grid to fit your style of play. You can set the range of notes that are displayed here. Transpose will allow you to set the grid starting note. And the size parameter will set how many notes are displayed on the grid. Also, if you have a key and scale set using the key lock feature, the proper notes will be displayed on the grid. Moving up and down while holding notes will adjust the timbre, and moving left and right will adjust the pitch. You can turn the arpeggiator on and off here. When the arpeggiator is on, the notes that are played will be displayed in real time on the grid. You can access the preset section here. You can use the left and right arrows to quickly tap through the presets, or click on the preset's name here to open the preset browser. In the preset browser, you'll be able to view all of your Sampleverse presets or choose to view a specific pack in the drop-down menu here. All of the included presets are labeled by type. This makes it quick and easy to find and preview the sounds that you're looking for. One of the biggest features in Sampleverse is the ability to record audio and play it back using any of the available node input methods. You can select the channel that will be used for recording here and monitor the income signals level here. Sampleverse will automatically analyze the pitch of the incoming audio. That will be displayed here. You can record a sample by pressing the record button here. You will see the waveform of the incoming audio displayed here while recording. With the auto pitch function, Sampleverse will tune the incoming audio to the nearest note, making sure that playback will always be in tune. When you record multiple samples, like different strings on a guitar or different notes on the keyboard, StageLight will automatically spread the notes across the key range in the proper pitch order. You will be able to select and edit the samples that you've recorded here. The loop icon will allow you to select a section of the sample to be looped while you hold the notes down, and the reverse icon will reverse the selected sample. And you can adjust an attack release envelope for each sample here. Once you have fine-tuned your recording, you can save the sample or samples as a sample bank to be used as a Sampleverse building block here. In the Edit section, you will find all of Sampleverse's sound shaping tools. The Arpeggiator is a powerful tool that creates melodies based on the notes that you play in sequence. Here in the front panel, you can adjust the speed of the arpeggiation and its octave range. The OS items are oscillators. These are sound generators that produce raw synthesized tones. You can adjust the gain and fine tune for the oscillators here. LFOs are modulation sources. You can use LFOs to create vibrato by assigning them the pitch, tremolo by assigning them the volume, and much more. You can adjust the amount and speed of modulation here. The sample bank item will allow you to use any audio that you've recorded in Sample versus Recorder, any of the included sample based source files, or any samples from your sample library as building blocks in Sampleverse. You can load WAV files by pressing the plus sign here. This will launch a sample browser where you can access any samples on your device. You can import SFZ files in the plugin menu here. This is the first in a series of videos on Sampleverse. In our next video, we'll be going into more detail on the edit panel and arpeggiator.